Good morning, Beagle family. I am here today to talk to you about resource guarding because um, something that came up on one of my uh, messages uh, today in regards to are we bribing our dogs by swapping? And what I want to do is completely and utterly blow that myth out of the window. Um, you're not bribing your dog and your dog is not um, uh, is not doing it to necessarily get the treat. A lot of the time resource guarding is attention seeking. So the treat is actually a billy bonus on top of you either chasing them or trying to engage them in trying to get the item off them. So why do we give treats? So there's two parts to this. Firstly, it's a really safe way for you to get hold of the item that they've stolen. Um, because if you try to take it from them, resource guarding dogs will bite and some of them do cause some very serious injuries. The second reason why we do it is because we are training the dog to drop the item um, when we ask them to. So for instance, with uh, Billy, he was a really bad resource guarder. Um, so uh, I got to the point where I could say to him, um, drop it or leave it. Um, he would drop the item and then I would give him the treat. Um, and what I was doing there is letting him know that the actual words leave it or, or drop it, whichever words you want to use, is a positive thing. Those words are positive. So eventually over a period of, I think it will, for him it was about three or four weeks of me swapping, um, the response to leave it or drop it becomes automatic because dogs will uh, do the same behavior if they get a positive. And then eventually they test it and test it and test it and test it and then eventually it becomes part of their psyche and it becomes an automatic response so they don't necessarily think about it. Um, now what happens with Billy and you can do this once you ha once your dog is actively dropping the item every time you ask them to in anticipation for that that reward that treat you can start to swap the treat for praise which is what we do with Billy now so Billy has learned the word leave it is or drop it which one do I use drop it drop it I think I use drop it drop it Billy drop it um, and he drops it I put my foot over the item not my hand because hands um, to a dog mean you're going to grab something whereas a foot they don't really know what the hell's going on there i usually cover the item with my foot as much as possible and then i go oh billy you're such a good boy and i give him lots of love and kisses and um and pets so now he ha we haven't had to swap uh, for an item for a very 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 long time weeks I'm talking now um, the other thing that has stopped Billy from stealing things <coughs> oh that's one of my dogs she's very fear reactive <coughs> um, is uh, we don't chase so uh, when um, he steals a sock it is the anticipation of being chased because he doesn't chew it and he doesn't eat it he just guards it and he's hoping I'll run after him I just ignore him um, and uh, eventually he gets bored uh, and walks away from the sock and then I very nonchalantly, you know, don't look at him or the sock and just wander over and put my foot on it and then it's mine. Um, so what's happening now is, because I'm not chasing him, he's not stealing as much and uh, and actually, uh, what did he do yesterday? He took one of my, my daughter's shin pads, oh my god I'm covered by dogs now, um, took one of, my uh, one of my daughter's shin pads and um, I just said to him, drop it, drop it Billy, it's not yours um, and he dropped it. So don't worry about giving the treats because eventually once the word is instilled into their brain and they're dropping it and in anticipation for that treat that's when you can start to reward them with praise and eliminate the treat okay i hope that helps see you later wow a very barky dog bye <laughs>